In this video, I will show you how you can use a girder truss. This would be a truss that would be designed by a roof truss manufacturing company that you might be able to use. I'd like to say you can use all the time. I'm sure they can design something that will work, but it really does depend upon the design of the building. So in this case here, you could probably do it because you have a small roof. However, in some cases, you might need to install a large structural beam and the girder truss might not work. So for those of you who can use it or you're just looking for another idea, then let's go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with. A girder truss is usually two or three trusses nailed together. And in some cases, you're going to have larger components like a larger rafter or a larger bottom cord. And I wanted to provide you with a design like this. This is probably not what you're going to end up with. However, you could. I'm not an engineer, so I'm not going to speculate on that. And of course, the girder truss is going to sit on a post, 4x4, 4x6, something like that, because you're going to be transferring a lot of weight through this thing. And on this side, I went ahead and provided you with a design of something you're probably going to end up with. However, I have seen it done both ways. And we are going to use hangers almost all of the time to connect the existing roof trusses to the new girder truss. And the most common reason for using a girder truss like this would be to create a flat ceiling from the existing house to the new home addition. And we are going to need blocks so that we can nail the sheathing from the existing house to get a nice structural tie to the new part of the house. And it will be nice to have the tops of the blocks shaped to match the existing roof. And you will be attaching these blocks to the girder truss. And you're probably going to use 16D nails for that. Maybe even common nails instead of sinkers. Next up, let's go ahead and install the other trusses. And then we can go ahead and pan out here, get a look at how the ceiling will be nice and flat. And of course, the drywall here will run in this direction on this side, and it will change directions on the other side. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. And then let's go ahead and head to the outside. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at how the roof sheathing will be tying into our new shaped blocks. And the sheathing will need to be nailed into the blocking. And you can see here how this is going to provide us with a nice structural connection between the girder truss and the existing house. And hopefully your roof truss company will provide you with some fill trusses that might look something like this. Next up, let's take a look at the inside here from a different angle in hopes of providing some of you viewers with a little more clarity in case you're not 100% sure why in the heck I even made this video. And as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave those in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible. And don't forget this video is part of a series and I will have a link to that series in the video description box or in the comment area.